Okay guys, so some some of you may remember from our last video, we had quite a few plants that have uh, pests like mealybugs, thrips, aphids, and all those things that can kill and damage your plants. So I asked you guys if you wanted to see a video on how to get rid of those pests and quite a few of you asked to see that video, so this is that video. If you haven't seen that video, do check it out so you know exactly what I'm talking about, but basically we are going to be talking about how to get rid of the pests on your plants. Now we have something here called Con Guard. It's for garden and lawn bugs, I guess. And this is something that has been recommended to me by Australian growers. So every country has different pesticides, right? Almost all countries have neem oil. And this is something that people recommend a lot in this hobby. Use neem oil. But when I use neem oil, we literally lost a like half our collection because it's either my fault or the neem oil's fault. Basically what happened, I sprayed the plants with neem oil and then the plants either died because of the oil clogging up their pores and they couldn't breathe. But I think it's more likely that the sun was just so hot here in Australia. Sorry about the wind guys, I can't change it. The sun is just so hot that all the droplets of the, you know, the oil on the plants that was there from the neem oil basically cause the leaves to burn and get destroyed by you know the sunlight so we're going to be doing this in the afternoon it is four in the afternoon the sun is pretty much setting over the plants and we're going to use this con guard like i said it was recommended to me by some other australian growers it's basically for all chewing and biting insects so snails i guess locusts which we have and obviously aphids, which are sucking insects, mealybugs too. All of those type of insects, mites, thrips, I don't know what else you might get. Uh, but if you're living in like America, I recommend Bayer 3-in-1 Rose Care. It's very safe. It's meant for roses and obviously you don't want to destroy your roses. So you, use it. you can use that Bayer 3-in-1 on your plants too. But if you're in other countries, I really don't know what you might have. Just ensure that you follow the dosage on the back for herbs because carnivorous plants are herbs. Um, this one doesn't have anything for herbs, but it has for roses and ornaments. So yeah, I'm just gonna be following the ornaments one uh, and it stays there for aphids and mealybugs because that's what we have. So that's 10 milliliters for three liters. I don't have three liters, but I have two liters. So two thirds of three is you know two and then two thirds of ten is what is that 6.6 .6 recurring so get about six mils and put it into a bottle and mix it up so we have one big bottle that we can use to refill other bottles in the future so let me show you what we've got here and we're gonna start spraying our plants guys and hopefully we can get rid of them so yeah let me just uh, get that all set up Okay guys, so we got our bottle of water here and we have our syringe and I've already forgotten what what amount we're going to use but here it is for ornaments for mealybugs and aphids and soft scale which we have it is 10 mils of this stuff for 3 liters and that is so 2 thirds because we're going to be putting into a 2 liter bottle that was that's going to be 6.6 .6, so we'll just make it 7 mils and here's our syringe, so we're just gonna go up to the seven mil mark. Now look guys, I have never used this stuff before. I don't know if our plant's gonna die or not, so we will try it out and see, but I promise you I've used Bayer 3-in-1 Rose Care in the past. It's honestly fine for plants. I've used it many times for aphids back in South Africa and it works perfectly fine. So yeah, let's get this out and let's take a look. Wow, okay, I didn't expect it to be the color of coffee or something but yeah there's no instructions in there um yeah let's just see what this says here yeah so basically it just says spray when you see the bugs so that's what we'll do there's no other really precautions um ensure that you shake it add the correct amount um to water in the spray bottle which we have down there and then spray it onto the plant Obviously, if you're going to be eating the stuff, don't spray it, eat it after this amount of days. Caution, don't let it get into the drains and stuff. It, it will kill bees and children and pets may may not enter the areas. Um, but yeah, that's about it. So let's shake it up like it asks us to do. Get the lid off. 
poison measuring cap. So that's 10 moles. Okay. Well, we're not going to be using that, are we? Has child lock. Okay. Now I'm going to smell this so you guys don't have to. Oh, it has a lip. Wow. I'm like useless at this, eh? Hey? There we go. It actually smells like chalk. It doesn't smell bad at all, guys. Okay, so... Wow, how lucky are we that that actually fits in there? Can I take the back? It doesn't fit in there. Okay. So, we've got our amount. Just get rid of the excess. And we want seven moles, so that's that's literally, we got lucky that we just literally hit about seven. So now I'm gonna put that inside of our bottle. Get a little bit of this water out. Look at that, guys. <laughs> wow, that looks really gross. Just empty it out. I'm sure that we pack this away so that it doesn't leak and whatnot, obviously. And then we can start shaking up our mixture now. You know, I have a feeling that this stuff is like expired or something, hey? Does it expire? Because like it has lumps in it. Well, yeah, there's no expiry date in this, so it should be alright. It has imidicloprid on it. See, this this rusty looking stuff, we have that on our Saracenia, and I'll show you guys that. But yeah, let me just try to shake this up a bit more, and then I'll bring you guys to when we actually start spraying the plant. Okay, guys, so here is our collection. As you guys saw earlier, we have aphids on our flowers we have this disgusting looking rust stuff on the saracenias like i don't know some type of bug there's mealybugs there we have spider mites so we've got the perfect environment to test whether or not this con guard will work um you guys can see a nice mealybug right over there on the stalk of this plant so yeah let's hope that this works we don't kill our plants like i mentioned to you guys Bayer 3 in 1 Rose Care. I've used that in the past, it works perfectly. This is the first time that I ever used Congard, which was recommended to me if you're in Australia. Um, let me just fix the panel. Can't wait until I can actually build a proper greenhouse one day, guys. When I move to wherever I, I end up moving, maybe England. Anyway, let us try this out, guys. Let us see if we're gonna kill our plants or not. Get it all out. Oh, <laughs> trying to spray the plant and not kill them. Yeah, that's better. Obviously, try not to breathe the stuff in, guys. And when you spray your plants, you just wanna try and ensure that all parts of the plant gets the spray. So what basically happens is that this spray sets into you know the leaves it gets absorbed and then it, the poison is in the plant so when the bugs eat the plant they get poisoned that doesn't affect the plant obviously the plants that they listed have their specific ratings because it can kill the plants but obviously if you use the right dosage it's all right but if you use um too much it can kill the plant but yeah it poisons the plants so when the insects eat it they die the plant stays fine as you guys might be able to notice, on the surface of the soil, there's this light coloration. That is all from spider mites, which is a pest. So yeah, that's why we need to do this. These guys have aphids. Spray them all down. Just like that. And as I mentioned to you guys, the sun is setting, so we don't have the intense heat or sunlight 
damaging the plants. You know, just go around spraying all of the plants. Just make sure we get that little really bug nicely there. And yeah, keep going, keep going. And sure that we get the Saracenia because they're pretty bad. They're covered in mealy bugs and spider mats. These are the ones that we did in the last video. They're looking much better now. They've healed up. And uh, yeah, let's make sure we get this one. This one's really bad. And you just spray, supply, apply, apply, guys. That's literally it. You can see all the spider mounts on those ones. That one there caught a bug. It's a fly in there. But yeah, guys, I'm actually surprised. I didn't expect there to be this much spider mounts. Like, look, you can see the white sheen on all of the plants. It's actually really bad. But yeah, just keep on spraying some spider mounts right in there. Oh, there's a spider mat. I mean, a mealy bug. So, just keep on spraying all our plants. Oh my. My hand is really sore now, guys. That's a workout. Ooh. I'm gonna have huge forearms at the end of this, I'm telling you. And while we're at it, we have a, um, a this thing. I don't know what this is. Forgotten already. It's a syngonium. Um, and I put it here because there's one randomly growing there. And I thought that, hey, if that one's doing well, this one should do well. And it's, hey, it started to grow again. I don't even water it. So, yeah, whatever. That one's happy. The gardeners came and they actually cut it all up by mistake. Well, not, not by mistake, because they, they got paid to do it. But yeah, it's coming back. And yeah, it seems happy enough, so... Has a friend there. But yeah, I'm just going to continue spraying the plant down, getting all angles of them, so that we uh, can destroy the aphids, because they suck. Ow, I <laughs> just hit my head <laughs> on that thing there. And, yeah guys, that is essentially it. Now, if you guys want to see if the plants die or not, subscribe to the channel because you will be able to tell them when I do update videos. Hopefully they don't die, but, you know, I don't know, first time ever using this stuff. And I hope that we don't lose our plants. If we do, well, then we've learned something. That we can't trust other people's suggestions. But hey guys, subscribe to the channel. Check out our new, our next video. This is just a simple one showing you guys the products I use and recommend. Bayer 3 in 1. I've used that in the past. I recommend that if you're in Australia. The Seagrow. What is this? Searles or whatever. Congard. Kill the, the bugs. Spray them evenly so that they get, you know, full amounts of dosage on the leaves so that the, the insects can die. Do it at the right time of the day and ensure that you keep watering your plants like normal. So yeah. Make sure you check out the next video we do, guys. And if you found this helpful, please remember to leave a like. If you have any suggestions or questions, remember you can leave them in the comments. Email me, Facebook Messenger me, or Instagram me. I'm always happy to help. So I'll see you guys in the next video.